Behind me is uh, some blue sky, so we're obviously not in Scotland anymore. I've uh, come down to the Lake District because the weather was looking nice and settled, and I've met up with uh, James Vincent, who we'll talk about more in the video, but he is going to guide me around this uh, fully legitimate legal route in the Lake District. What are we doing today, James? Uh, today, well, we're starting in Langdale and we're heading up Langdale to the bottom of Rosset Gill. We're going to go up Rosset Gill, past Angle Tarn, onto Escores, past Sprinkling Tarn, Stiehead Tarn, then down to Stockley Bridge. Then we're going to hang a right um, and go up Langstrath and then to Stake Pass, over Stake Pass, back into the bottom of Rosset Gill and then back into Langdale. The sun's shining uh, and if you want to do this one it'll all be in the link in the description for the Strava. Uh, download the GPX and do it if you think it looks good. Better be good, James. It'll be great. <laughs> Best descent in the lake. Yeah. Legal uh, descent. Best legal descent, yeah. yeah. So apparently this thing that we're on just now is called a bridal way. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not a bridal way, you get a slap in the wrist. Don't break me, James. Not as fit. I'm not as fit as my edits would have you believe. James has definitely got the fitness edge on yours truly. Very finely constructed path. Uh, and we're almost there. We're probably about halfway height wise, but it's gonna get a bit steeper now. I uh, will return when we get up there. The climb had me really struggling. I actually felt a bit sick at the start, but thankfully I've uh, pushed through and uh, should be all right. But I was near thrown in the towel at one point, but feel good now. My watch told me I was uh, very fatigued when I woke up this morning, which uh, seems to be about right. Oh yeah, and that's Rosset Pike worth Milton. <laughs> and Scarfield Pike's round that way somewhere. All right, so we just got a little bit of descending. Then a bit more climbing and then loads of descending. Five miles, I've been told. Oh, look at that. Cheers. Oh, look how well constructed these paths are as well. I have no brakes. Oh man, busy. Cheers. <laughs> I've got no brakes. <laughs> That's cool. Angle Tarn. Angle Tarn. Yep. That's it, the balls are in, so you might as well. <laughs> the breathing says it's cold. <laughs> you can't tell me it's warm, your breath says otherwise. Well, that'll do me. <laughs> So it's done here. Now we're going to join that queue. Well, that's quite nice. Right, this is us at uh, Escos. This is a kind of junction for all the trails. You can see just over there quite an elaborate shelter, like a kind of a cross shape so you can obviously shelter from all different directions of wind. Uh, we're looking back down the path that we came up and then over behind Rosset Pike, there's down in the valley there, that's where we started the full day. <laughs> uh, what's this one again, James? Uh, <laughs> Glaramara. Glaramara is this one here. And then we're looking over to the Great Gable. Yeah. The Great End. Mm -hmm. 
and then Scarfell Pike is, we believe it's this mass here, but you can't actually see the peak itself. So Scarfell Pike is the tallest mountain in Englandshire. Yeah, we've pretty much got five miles of descending down this way. Uh, if you've heard of the four passes route that kind of navigates around the Great Gable, this is all information I've just been told by James, so new territory for myself. Uh, we have got the weather. What we'll do is we'll just stop every now and then. I'll just shout at you because uh, I'll change the angle. Is that the Highlander? Is this one? No, these uh, Claymore. Oh, okay, yeah. The bigger travel one. But well done for knowing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, normally I'm on a bike, but trying to bike the way nice. Alright, I'd highly recommend it, it's a good bike. Let's get going. I've bruised my finger. Can you break in finger? Cheers. Nice. Nicely done. So this will become very apparent, but James is a very handy rider. He's also oh on a Claymore. Good choice. If you've seen any video uh, any photos of the Claymore or either of the Highlanders, chances are James took them. Freelance photographer, but deviate using quite a lot. Single track shoes on, MBUK, all of them. Nice, very techy. Oh, lovely, jubbly. Whoa! <laughs> Really nice. Woo. That it's a bit more challenging. Woo. Genuine alpine feel up there. That was <sighs> sprinkling time. Want to lead for a bit? I'll lead for a bit, it's got a good angle there. I'll be going slower than you. Lovely. Mind you, out front I get to focus solely on what I need to do. And not trying to mimic James. Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so on you go. Oh. A bit off track. Cheers. It's always a bit wary about coming to the lakes, just because, uh, in my opinion, more people, more problems. But again, everyone has been lovely, and people with all different accents coming from all over to appreciate the outdoors. Lovely. Oh, oh. Awesome. Oh. Lost to be a bit there. Whew. 
in case of emergency that just looks like a coffin holder quite a while I want it to have a look at ah, okay one skis that's the one Right, oh, we're going to head down past this tarn. This is Stiehead Tarn. Stiehead Tarn. Tarn is Cumbrian for lake. Small water. Small water. Yep. Or a lochin, as we'd call it up in Scotty land. But we're not in Scotland. But we're not in Scotland, so shut up, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being unfortunate and heavy handed. <laughs> Same bit. Oh, James, boy, you gave me through some wild stuff. Oh. Nice. Got a bit more air on the rear tire now. Feeling a bit safer. Oh Jesus. James has kind of got me beat. <laughs> Cheers. James has got me beat in fitness, technical climbing. Cheers. Descended endurance. Pretty much everything. But I like that. It's good to ride with people that will make you push yourself. Oh. Nice. Glad I was in a low, low gear there. Okay, so ahead of us are more kind of switchbacks, so this is going to get kind of a lot more awkward oh, than what we've been doing so far. Eh, maybe not. Lovely. Oh, I love it. Oh, going right around the outside. Proper descent. Oh, oh. Sorry, that oh. Was possibly the worst line that you no. can take through that slab. Well, I didn't do the same line as you. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> Guadamara. Oh, refreshments. I am looking forward to some refreshments. Plenty of tap water as well. Guadamara is the name of that hill. Nothing to do with Jordy's. <laughs> Sorry. Have you got your little fancy electronic pump? They do. Thanks for asking. The future, I tell you. The future. Well, I see these balance bikes. Right, so we are now fueled up. I am fueled with an egg mayonnaise sandwich. Some heavily vinaigrated salad and Coca Cola. 
it'd be good for a few more miles. Which we have ahead of us. Stop looking at my creek. <laughs> Is it your rear neck? Is it your clutch? Probably I. Anyway. That's exactly what it is. So this is the bridleway. And James says on the other side of the river there's a footpath. The footpath is much smoother, much faster and better. But, technically, against the rules on the bike. So we find ourselves being treated like inferiors. <laughs> Having to go over bumps with our expensive suspension. Well, I thought you'd want to use it, you see. If it wasn't for YouTube, I'd be in the footpath. So, my bike developed a squeak. Uh, James, quite rightly, mentioned it could be the clutch on my rear mech and I switched the clutch off and sure enough that was where the squeak was coming from and since then even just cycling up up this bridleway I can feel my rear suspension far more active so I'm going to keep the clutch off for the descent and if my chain retains I think we've got ourselves a winner If I can keep the suspension even more active, I see no downsides to that. Right. Oh wow, crystal clear. So clear. Well this is basically run down from Angle Tan. Where we started. Yeah. So if you follow this all the way Oh, the, the first lake where that? The one we went for swimming? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, where, we, that's where this... Okay. So you, sw you swam in this water before they even got to it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you're better than him. <laughs> so that was a long, tedious path. Uh, sorry, bridal way. Uh, if you come to do this yourself, just take the path. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> We've uh, just got ourselves to the base of Stakes Pass. So we're going up and over. I think we're roughly following where that waterfall is. Uh, and then down the other side, pretty much to where we started. And then over there in the distance, that is the, the tarn or the lake at the top there that uh, James swam in earlier on in the video. That's over there. So we've come all the way around, all the way down there and then all the way back up. And then up over here, down the other side. Right, we are at the top of Stakes Pass. It's looking pretty Stake Pass. Steak. Oh dear, I've been saying yeah, multi- you ruined the whole video. I'm... That's Steak apostrophe S Pass. <laughs> no, it's not Stake. <laughs> You're at the top right. of We're at the stop of Steak Pass. Steak. Uh, it's not my area. Anyway, um, it's looking pretty, that. yeah, I don't care. Um, <laughs> we're heading down there, it looks pretty cool. We've got loads of kind of drumlins and stuff. We have done 16.7 miles thus far, and we've done 1128 meters of ascending. And this is our final descent, right? Mech clutch off, let's see how she does. Well, it starts off narrow. Yeah, that suspension is more open. You can feel it. For sure. Oh. <laughs> Nagery. Well, the clutch is off in the mech, but I might not have a mech after this. Dum -dum. 
Yeah, that rear suspension is night and day. Obviously, my clutch was or is needing a service. Okay. Oh, hopping over there, gee. Oh, 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 that caught me. I wish I could have felt as good as I do now at the start of the day. <laughs> it's probably because I know I'm getting a rest soon. That's a bit rough. <laughs> Lucy Goosey. <laughs> Might as well start jamming. Thank you kindly, so no worries, that was uh, a nice way to finish. Yeah. Well that's James Dunn, top man for uh, guiding me around what was a fantastic route, better than I thought it would be. And it's now, district. it's a late district, you can't go wrong. And now I'm going to borrow a fiver off him for the parking. Because <laughs> uh, McTrail Rider don't do cash, uh, but the guy in the field only accepts cash. Tom Holliday's the Paul Thurman here. I was to pay for parking when I got back. Well, what a day that was. Um, oh, a baptism of fire <laughs> into the Lake District. 
wild riding. <laughs> but yeah, um, I learnt a lot. Uh, I learnt that James is fitter than me. I learnt that James is uh, technically good in a bike. And I learnt that the Lake District is even more beautiful than I thought it was. And the riding is actually even better than I thought it would be as well. We've done 21 miles today, uh, 1135 metres gained. Uh, over about seven hours, um, I am absolutely hanging. Uh, I did not start my day well. My watch was telling me that I was only like 20% recovered, so uh, it didn't start well and it didn't end well physically. But overall, uh, what a fantastic day! And I'm looking forward to doing some more. In fact, tomorrow I'm going to do some more and then uh, maybe the next day as well. But if not, I'll come back again in the future. Ciao.